Hello networkers, my name is Michael Tomatis. I am a network automation developer at RouteHub and I want to provide you a deeper look into one of my custom network automation projects. Now this custom network automation appliance utilizes a web front end with a Python framework back end and a Mongo database along with job first in first out queuing for all automation tasks. And here's what the solution looks like. So this web front end for this solution is based on a Python micro web framework, which requires login access. And once you're in, there are different pages and jobs and actions that you can define. The dashboard will show a summary of all devices and how many are online, followed by the number of generated log events based on the different tasks, reports, or templates that you run. It will show the number of jobs that are currently running or that are in the queue. And it will show how many schedules that you have created for a task or a report. Further down, you will see the last 10 jobs that have run on the system. It will show the name of that job, its status and timestamp. Furthermore, you can view any results for that job by clicking on its status. So if I go to backup and click on status, that will provide a summary of some of those particular details. Or if there's an error, I can click here to get particular details of what the error was that was generated for that particular job. And lastly, you will see a very simple summary of the type of jobs that you have created and the count of those job types. The type of jobs that you can create can be a template, a task, a report, a workflow, which are reflected at different automation options that you see in the top menu up here. In terms of devices, are shown on the devices page. And this will show each device followed by its management IP, the hardware, the software type, the operating system, the serial number if it is known, along with its status. When you click on the device name itself, like let's say core switch number one, that will present another set of specific menu options for that selected device. It will first show basic information for that device including what groups it will be associated to, plus the CPU usage if SNP is set up for that device through this appliance. Under general settings, this is where you can specify the management interface, its unique identifier that can be used in configuration, its device row and type, which can be used in other parts of the configuration templates. Under configuration, this is where you can view all configuration files and backups for that device. Under commands, this will show the output of the show commands that you can send to this device based on a completed task. You can view the interface list for that device along with its description and status if it is known on that interface. You can view all log events that has been generated for this device for a particular job that runs. Under reports, any report that you have run which involves this device will be located here on this page. And under custom, this is where you can put in a custom configuration that you may want to send to that device specifically. And under templates, this will show all configuration templates that has been built for this appliance. And for this device, there are different templates that has been built, like one for S&P version three. I can click there and see that actual syntax and whether it has been active or applied to that device or not. And there's other ones as well. But again, our outputs, reports, configuration details are all specific for this particular device. And we can do that for any device that is added to the system. Now on this network automation appliance, you can set up and run different type of jobs. You can run operational tasks by going to task. And you can do things such as performing configuration backups, sending a custom configuration or show commands that you may want to run. There are tasks for monitoring a device or a group of devices using SNMP. You can perform a global password change among your devices easily. You can check for unused interfaces, and you can even generate a configuration file that can be used for day zero automation or zero touch provisioning. Another job that you can do allows you to build a configuration using one of the many available templates that are created, such as access control lists, BGP interfaces, OSPF, SNP, and more depending on what templates that I have created to be supported by this solution. 
But with these templates, you can build the configuration and apply that configuration directly to that device or group. You can also run generated reports on the system for a particular target. You can run compliance reports, which will validate the configuration for a device against a recommended baseline or a report to check if all interfaces have a description or if they're not shut down, etc. Or you can set up and run what is called a workflow. And a workflow allows you to define multiple predefined tasks or reports and or templates that will run in a sequential order that you specify. So for example, this one is specific for the primary core switch. So I go to edit, this shows a list of all of the different things that it's gonna do. It's gonna first apply the VLANs configuration, then spanning tree, static routes, SNMP. Then it's going to perform some basic configuration based on a task, then some advanced configuration. Then it's gonna go ahead and do a ping test directly from that device, then run some show commands, then it's gonna run some reports, then it's gonna do a backup, and then it's gonna do a NMS or a monitoring check if SNMP is set up, which it is right up here from this particular workflow. And I can add others the same way, and I can select only ones that have a target for the core switch number one only. So I can type in different things, and these are the available templates in this case that I can add on to this particular list. And lastly, under settings, this is where you can view the system logs, where you can enable email notifications to performing, let's say, a full backup of all created tasks, reports, templates, and workflow jobs on the appliance to even doing a restore based on the backup file, which would be in a compressed file. And that is it, a preview of my network automation appliance and some of the details of how it works. It's a particular type of a project or a appliance that I deploy for some of my customer projects depending on the requirements, the hardware, and who is managing the network environment. You can get more information on our network automation services at rodhub.net slash automation, and you can connect with me on linkedin.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep networking.